And welcome back to Yakuza 0. Uh, we got a special side story here if we uh, inspect this telephone on the east side of town, or west side of town. Can't believe this guy's calling in artillery on our Charlie Dog Foxtrot position. Shit, I'm not ready for this. So, uh... I don't know if you remember that one substory we did a while ago, uh, where Majima helped a couple with a... a crossword puzzle? Mm. But they mentioned a bag phone in that one, and I realized after doing this that you, pr you were probably meant to at least see this one first. Oh. I mean, it's probably because you call them bag phones, and they look like a purse. Not that there's anything wrong with, uh, Boy. with, like, shoulder bag like that, but, you know. Well, I mean, when it's, it's sole purpose is phone, and it probably weighs a shit ton. The batteries must be hard to replace, if they can be replaced, and, like, what's the range on that? How much does it cost? Because operating that can't be cheap either. Yeah. Like, damn. Hold the bag phone. All right, <laughs> let's get the let's get this R and D team back together with the marketing. <laughs> and slap everybody on the marketing team. You idiots! We'll be able to connect with anyone, anytime, and anywhere. Could have called it a parcel phone. <laughs> Wow, now you can be the one who awkwardly calls your parents at random hours. <laughs> hey mom, how's your day going? I thought you'd never be on the receiving end of this one, huh? Yeah, I'm calling you from right outside the porta potties. No, oh. I haven't had bad food again. No, I just happened to be here and decided I wanted to call. Oh, hang on, the the, the stall is empty. I, I gotta go. Sorry. Bye. <laughs> Actually, you know what? <laughs> With the magic of technology, I can take you the phone all into the stall. <laughs> I can talk to you in here. <laughs> <laughs> Then Majima looks at him and goes, Yeah, but can you take your picture with it? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so yeah, let's uh let's see what the future has in store for uh for Majima. This is a bad idea. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Idiots, because you have to dial 8 first. No, no, the problem is simpler than that. Yeah, battery's dead. You thought I was just making a joke about the batteries, huh? I knew. <laughs> yep, uh... <laughs> just like with the Game Gear and the Nomad, this thing eats up batteries like no tomorrow. Takes eight fucking hours to charge, and you get one phone call. <sighs> you know, I, I love how it's always, there's always that feeling of self righteousness like, it doesn't matter how inconvenient it is, I'm ahead of everybody else. <laughs> sure, my Tesla might catch fire at any moment. <laughs> it was made by immigrants who aren't paid a decent wage. But <laughs> the future is now! <laughs> but damn it, I can plug it into my house. You know, at least the people who said 
about pleasure androids could literally touch the future. <laughs> delete that <laughs> <laughs> all right so i i went to don quixote and back i i just cut it out because nothing interesting happened oh. i was just going to don quixote somehow i had a feeling that would be the case <laughs> oh yeah you're this thing also weighs a ton, just like you said. Yeah, of course there's a sling on it. <laughs> Buddy, you are standing across from t two tables. <sighs> there's a reason why, like, Every time you see somebody in the military way back in the day with uh, portable radios, which are basically just like portable phones, really, they're always like crouching or like the pack is on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this time you got to get him a healing drink. And, you know, it sounds like these. Well, not specifically these times, but but I, I always carry a stack of like stamina rails, as you know, so. <laughs> If you don't have any uh, healing items, you can always go to the medicine shop. I think on the other side, it's on the other side of the river. Hmm. It's it's not far. Or you can go to I don't know the uh, the M store that that's like two minutes or two minutes, like twenty seconds away. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, you could just like swing it at the guy, and if you hit him, dead. Yeah, basically. <laughs> just send him right to the hospital. Yeah, I'm sure that that old technology would uh is built like a tank. Old technology? I'm sorry, Chaos. This is the future. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sure your futuristic t bag phone uh can withstand a nuclear. Uh, Fallout. This feature present stuff is heavy as hell. <laughs> and talk shit about the reception if you want. Talk about how its minimal range really affects call quality, but goddammit, never mention my eye. <laughs> I like how casual he is about it. Right? I'm almost a little disappointed that uh, that only did like half his life bar. <laughs> I have a newfound appreciation for Breaker Style after doing this LP. It's so good. <laughs> like once you get a bunch of skills for it. Right, right. I kind of feel like that might be the case, like, all the time, though. Like... With, with what? Well, when you... Especially when you do LPs, you kind of, like... You're, in a way, forced to explore and try a bunch of different things. Yeah, yeah. Huh. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, you'd think it would be, like, indestructible. <sighs> Unfortunately, it actually isn't. Ooh. <laughs> okay there, Rambo. hit him <laughs> all right well the m store is uh in the upper left corner of town well middle left part of town 
I mm. think it's on the other side of the bridge from where we just were. Anyway, he bought a new phone. So now, we can make a phone call wherever he is. Oh my god. The battery's dead. No, no, not this time. Uh, he's gonna ask, I don't have his phone number. Uh, yeah, yeah who, are we, who are we trying to call? <laughs> huh? Man, that's just crazy talk. <laughs> God, I hate these future retro jokes. <laughs> anyway, we, we can actually take him up on his offer now, and he is now a save point. Nice. You know, uh, in case you couldn't find the other nearby phones. Nobody knows about that one. <laughs> Surely. Anyway, we got some business to take care of over at the Grand. Huh? ホールのお客様が支配人とお話ししたいと言ってるんですが。どんなギャグや。どうも日本人じゃないようです。多分中国人の背が低くて少しくたびれた感じの。And he kind of smells. <笑>支配人、いかがいたしましょう。すぐ行く。Alright, so, uh... I'm not actually sure why they make you follow the waiter when they could've just made this a cutscene. He doesn't really have much to say. Build the suspense. <laughs> Look at all these people dining in your cabaret. Shihaini, Kuchira no Kaksama des. Oyobi de Shoka. Ah, what a sine, Shihaini sa. Jambore and Yamisha. Antetok. Kuranto, you miss eh? Tempo Shihaini sa no gori, ne? Buddy, when did you when did we agree to that? Apparently, some time ago. Kochiro no kanja ore mochi ya. Tanomude. Kashikomarimashita. Should have been whatever his liquor bill is. Yuru wa sumaru katta na. Anta kega shitoren ka? Ah, iyo yo mo. Kochi no hou ga ninzu okatta shi. <laughs> By the time I've recorded this, I've done like 90% of the uh, cabaret minigame, so Majima's ingested a lot of money, so he's even stronger than before. <laughs> You'll never defeat his final form. <laughs> <笑>デンゴ隊長部私まだ寄ってないよリーの電話なんやああなたこれからすぐ店抜けられるかなあなんでお店出たらあなた自分の家に向か支配人さんの家ここから遠いいや蒼天堀沿いや<笑> 
リさんあなたがうちに着いたらそこであなたに声かけるリさんお店から出たあなたのことどこからか見て how will I find, tell him apart from the other seven guys watching me at my every step He'll have the red headband. Ah. You know, he'll look like、uh, Ryu from Street Fighter. I wish you'd made this the ending <laughs> and then the roundabout music played. <laughs> What a missed opportunity. Ah,、uh, that would have been pretty good, actually, yeah. It would have been. <laughs> well, as we leave the club, uh. Majima! We're accosted! Surprise! Yup, Puria! Doka de Mita Kaoya Omotote. グランドの支配人マジマゴロゆうべは世話になったなゆうべどちらさんでしたっけ I'm glad マジマ needs a reminder too マコトちゃんどこやった Well when you piss off so many people as マジマ Yeah basically Like, I put so many people in the river. I don't remember who these people are. Oh, they're the, those guys I, that I put in the river. <laughs> I think what like, I love the most is just when someone like, starts to air their grievances and you're like, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, that's always pretty, uh, that's, that's always fun. <laughs> Oh no, I can't throw you into the river this time. So, yeah, we're fighting these guys again.、Uh, The guy immediately, that starts immediately in front of you has a gun, so I would probably recommend taking care of him first.、Yeah. I think there's someone else with a gun too. I don't remember where that bullet came from though. <laughs> It would be nice if, like, Majima had a,、uh, a heat action, like, Curious Beast style where you could, he could, like, Spin dudes into each other and knock them out like that.、Mm. Well, we'll just have to make do with,、uh, with this one. Unfortunately, the guy with the gun is kind of a pain in the ass to,、uh, to deal with. It always seems to be the case. Like, just constantly, you, like, the game expects you to just deal with the getting、uh, lined with bullets. Like, he's dodgy, he's、uh, really quick to block. Stop, fuck off, go away. I, I kind of wish there's.、Uh, if there is chip damage, because I like, barely ever notice it.、Um, Just like it be more prominent if there is、yeah. chip damage or give chip damage because I don't know. I just find it silly when it's like these random moves can stop a baseball bat when he's literally just like、uh, raising his forearms a little bit. Yeah, or like maybe let me or show me that the gun is getting damaged. I don't know. Or like, I don't know. Incentivize a heavy attack use. To break his guard or something. Yeah, I, I think the idea is you're supposed to use to grab to do to get past guards, but. Yeah, no, yeah, I got a bunch of other dudes on me. Yeah, like it's easier said than done. 
放我。なんかトラブルからしくねえなお前さんが店のすぐ近くで暴れるなんてよ別に何でもあるへんわなら店をおったらかしてどこへ行く気だ牧村誠は見つかったのかまだよへえけど昨夜お前ねぐらに戻らなかったそうじゃねえかでてっきり牧村を見つけたかと思ったんだがよ今探しとる途中や昨日の今日やろまだ時間はあるやろまあな見つかっちまえばあとは殺すだけだもんなでも早いに越したことはねならもうええでか無駄話しとる暇ないんで無駄話ってことはねえだろうこいつはほうれん草だえ報告、連絡、相談。上司と仕事するときのいろはだろう。ほうれんそう。せやったら、報告と連絡は以上ですよ。相談はねえのかあんたに相談するくらいやったら、電柱にでもしとく。はあ